we've talked a lot about this being a family club. If you take your argument through to its logical conclusion, um, you would have been happy for Chad Evans, it, it sounds, to pull on a Sheffield United shirt, be lauded by fans as a remorseless convicted criminal. Okay, he has so not apologised for what he's done because, in his view, he hasn't done anything wrong. Okay, so we're not going to get to answer that question because um, we've decided that we're not going down that route. So um, I guess I won't. Um, I don't. I don't see how I could um, answer the question, at least to the extent that it's speculative. Uh, what we have said that we were happy to do um, was uh, provide a path to rehabilitation for um, for Chet in the form of allowing him to use our training facilities. That's the only decision that we've made as a board. But that path to re rehabilitation, he didn't want to just train, he wanted a job. The whole point was for, to train to get a job. I mean, are you saying you'd have let him train, but you wouldn't have looked at him as a footballer? Uh, no, I haven't said that. But I, I think that we're not going to get a chance to answer the hypothetical question about what would have happened if we were able to follow through on our decision. But, but let, me, can I, let me address your, your real question was, are you really a family club if you believe that and I I think that's a fair question and I I would reckon that um, if there was uh, if if it was possible for us to do that um, you know we would uh, you know we might but we haven't gotten that far uh, the football side didn't get a chance to look at the football merits and they didn't get a look uh, at the character merits uh, to judge for themselves whether uh, there was sufficient uh, integrity of character to allow him to play and look I'll tell you quite frankly that we have a pretty high uh, you know standard um, in that regard so I don't know what the outcomes would have been I don't know if there would have ever been a moment when the issue came back to the board you know for a uh, approval should we do this so I, I will say that we're um, our um, our fans I believe many of them uh, wanted him back I think there was another group that definitely did not want him back, and um, the division within our family on that issue was one that was worth taking note of and um, and not deepening, at the, you know for the you know uh, for the limited benefit of letting a, fo a footballer who's not one of ours, uh, or at least I say uh, he's not one of our current players, uh, uh, you know we we, sh we should that we decided that we shouldn't let our club. You know, be taken down for that uh, for that limited benefit. We, you know, it's it's somewhat shocking that we that he's that he's to be told that he's not even able to pull on a pair of boots and train and um, you know unbadged and uh, for the purpose of regaining his fitness. The but simple thing is, that he's too valuable for you, isn't he? That, that's the bottom line. He is a valuable player. If you could get him back, you would have got him back, wouldn't you? Well, Come hell or high water. Uh, I don't think we have an answer to that question. I am sure. That uh, that that Ched would have approached training with a with an intent to prove himself, but you know he hasn't played for how many months now? Are we coming up on 27 or 28 months or however long it is? It's a long time, and I don't know if there's still uh, you know a, a footballer there that uh, that a gaffer who has the choice of how to spend his resources would, would you spend have had resources. Him back? On. Had Jessica Ennis said, "Take my name off the stand," and not had not said that, would you have had him back? Um, so, I I think that um, you know we treated the inputs of uh, those who uh, who offered those inputs. We sort of uh, we'll call them celebrities associated somehow with the club. We treated those inputs as inputs as as if from every other uh, source of of input, and we had very important inputs from all around. And I I don't um, I, you know uh, I think we. Uh, we would uh, uh, we certainly acknowledge that Jess Ennis, Ennis is is a um, you know is a great woman has achieved amazing things an Olympian of of great note and uh, she's someone whom we've honored in our club with a stand uh, named in her honor um, and I I don't think uh, however that her inputs well I know for a fact because I'm I'm in the boardroom uh, discussing this I don't think that her inputs were. The vital inputs. She made her. She made her point. We heard her point. 
Um, you know, others made their points in, in similar ways. Well, see, ultimately, I mean, if sponsors are going to start pulling out, if you're going to do that, you're financially at a loss. And if they're pulling out, you're not going to replace them easily. Uh, sponsor ultimately, was it a pragmatic decision about money? Uh, I would not say that this was a decision principally about money or principally about the sponsors. I mean, that that's one aspect of it, certainly. But the um, but the but the truth is, is we were uh, we were at each other's uh, we were you know basically our our community was uh, in disarray, and our the family that we want to keep together was um, was in a dis disagreement. And, and a lot I, of fans said this morning out there that it was a, a mess of your making for not making a firm decision at the start. Uh, we could have made a firm decision. Yeah, call it a mess of our making. Happy to accept responsibility for that. Um, we have now reached the end of that uh, of that piece, and and I'm happy to accept responsibility. I know Kevin is for the decisions that we've made. We have tried to take uh, this matter in a stepwise fashion, right? Uh, take it, and you know we we waited to you know when when Ched was released, um, we waited. And we waited and we waited and we eventually got uh, a request, and then we acted on it. Do you think he'll ever play for Sheffield United again, Chad Evans? I have no way of guessing about that. I, I know no more about that than you do. So, I mean, it's a, it's a. I think Would you like him to? Um, I, um, for my part, I think that uh, the important decision is for now has been made that we're not going to have him train. Uh, at the club, and that and and that forecloses uh, issues. You can't be offering the new contract at all. No, I don't see not that now happening or next year. Not the year after. I don't know what happens next year. I don't know what hap know what happens the year after. But right now, we're not offering anyone a contract, and we're not. And we've retracted our um, our offer to let him train, um, and we've done that because we have something that is um, uh, that is bigger than any one of us, which is this club. And you know we're uh, we're not uh, speaking for the owners of the club. The owners don't own uh, the club; they own a corporate entity. The club is owned by our fans, and I know right now that a lot of our fans are really upset about the decision we've um, we've taken. But our specific role that we play at this club is to make judgments about the long-term interests of the club, and we don't see this getting better. If we stay on the course that we were on, it's that simple. It's it gets worse. The divide gets worse. The distraction gets worse. We're you know we're trying to run a promotion campaign here, and we've spent the last two months thinking and talking about something you know that's a million miles away from promotion, right? Obviously, everyone would like to have uh, you know uh, strikers in, and we're we are working on that, but. You know, Chet Evans wasn't going to be a solution for that specific problem in the immediate near term, right? That's not what the way we thought of Chet Evans coming here. He wasn't part when we put when when Nigel put his team together. He was not putting together a team that was based on the assumption that Chet Evans would be in the side, right? That's never been the case. So you know, we we're going on about the the promotion campaign. Um, we are. Um, we will be glad to have the distraction behind us. Uh, we know that um, we are going to have to, um, you know, deal with the uh, the frustration and the anger felt by those who um, who wanted us to go the other direction on this. Uh, we are forthright people, you know, and we we talk to our fans. Um, so we'll be happy to uh, to hear their views. Um, happy to accept responsibility for the decisions we've taken. You know, it's it's a very I think a uh, simple matter. Mm -hmm.